Last time on Relegation Regen Rebuild. Come on, Mantini. Oh, fuck! Oh, penalty! Get in there! Fuck you, you stupid game trying to rob me. Haven't been able to lay a proper tackle all fucking day. Mancini gets in there, gets ruined. He's going to go to the spot here to try and... Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild with AC Milan, FIFA 17. We sit in third position, equal points around us with Ascoli and uh, Shibari. Uh, we're pushing on here, we're in January, the transfer window is still open. We have offloaded quite a few players to Tom Tomsk and uh, Santoro has left to FC Porto. Um, so we will be looking for a new keeper uh, for backup for Conti. I want to try Conti out for the remainder of the season, see if he can uh, hold true, hold strong, just because the regens out there aren't ready to come in. There's two regens out there. Um, one is the, the Howard regen. He hasn't got the best reactions yet. And uh, then there's another... Uh, lad out there, I can't even remember. He's a German goalkeeper. He's an exciting prospect, but he hasn't. He's only 19. He's only really starting to develop at uh, Fulham. So uh, we'll see how we go there uh, with Conti at the moment. Maybe a new youth keeper will rock through the system at some stage. But um, as for purchases, I'm not 100% sure. I think we need some more centre backs just to help out Cunningham and Diaz because they're the only two centre backs at the club at the moment. So. Uh, if I do make any purchases, it'll probably be those lads, or we could go after the uh, the young Egyptian in the Youth Academy. But there won't be a player upgrade today. I just want to get straight into the action. We've got a game up against Benevento first, and then we'll finish off this transfer window. Hopefully, someone comes in for an offer for Mancini, and uh, we can try and loan glitch him. But uh, still, not a sniff in this entire career mode. Uh, which is just surreal because he's scoring goals. He's the top scorer at the club and you'd feel that teams, you know, if they see a player scoring goals, they'd at least want him in for a bit of bench cover. But, oh well, let's move on. All right, here we go. It's an away encounter in the Calcio B against Benevento. The rain is coming down and we need to find some form. And we've been a little bit of a slump lately. We've got the wins, but we're not really looking like that dominating team that needs to go up and push for promotion. Lazzari's been a little bit quiet of late. He will start up front today. Roche is going to start in the cam roll with the injury to Laganov. Klausen's tired, so Roche gets to relish the opportunity in the cam position. Giordano on the left. Uh, Sook on the right. Hopefully he can deliver a few balls in. And uh, hopefully we can just get the job done here today. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. We need a win. We need a really good win. We sit in third. We need some goals. That goal difference is a little bit of a concern. But, um, yeah. Come on. Let's do this. Pushes down the wing here. Cuts through the middle. Gets the run here from Mr. Rowley. And Mr. Rowley punches on through. Feeds it off. He's got the run here from Zhao. Takes the shot. Earns us a corner here early. Sorry to deliver. Whips it up high. Who's there? Kelchan. Oh, he's hit the fucking crossbar. Oh, unlucky there for Kelchan. Get his name right eventually. Giordano. Sorry. Opens up. Takes the straw. Oh, there he is. Where have you been hiding, son? Lazzari with an absolute rocket from outside the box. Just says, fuck it, I'll have a crack. Look at this, Giordano slips it forward. Lazzari just turns his man, finds the space, and rockets one in with the right boot. It's 1-0 Milan, a class finish from Lazzari. He has his seventh goal of the season, equaling Mancini again. And they are going punch for punch here in the Calcio B to be the leading goal scorer at Milan. Lazzari sits back, it feels like. Mancini gets one, and then Lazzari goes right. Time for me to score. Here's Kelkan. Finds a bit of an opening and goes on a run here, Kelkan. Well, look at him go, the Romanian. Can he cross, though? That is the question. Here it is. Back post. Oh, Roche! He's onside! He's back from injury! And the Frenchman has done it! 
What a ball in from Kelkan. Just found Roche. Not sure they were calling for the offside. It doesn't matter. Oh, the little master has smacked that one home. It's 2-0 Milan. A class finish. Catch in there, my son. Well, a lovely little finish there from Pierre Rocher. And uh, that's his second goal of the season. There's Roche. I like to call him Rocher because it rhymes with his first name. Pierre Rocher. Pierre Rocher. Whips it off to Sook. Sook goes back post. Oh, Giordano! Wow! What a finish! Sook with the absolute delivery. Oh, my God. He's reminiscent of Wallace and Mailman from our first relegation regen rebuild series. The winger that could just absolutely deliver. He was called the Mailman, and Sook is on point with his delivery as well. Giordano puts it home. It's 3-0 Milan. Fucking get in there. Well, they're worried about the delivery. And now it's going to be Letzari. Chips it up and over. Diaz puts it wide. There's the whistle for half time. And that is a sign of intent from Milan. A 3 0 opening half. And that's a bit more like it. Oh, Richard. What was the touch, mate? And Benevento strike back straight after half time. Richards just dropped it at the attacker's feet and said, Might as well have one, mate. I want you to get thrashed. Look at this. Oh, there was two of you there as well. That is some poor defending. And Conte was like, what the fuck is going on here? That should have been cleared immediately. 3-1. Oh, Roche, yeah. Great ball out to Giordano. And he's absolutely spent. Can he get this pass inside? He can. Where's Mancini? Nowhere to be seen. Sook finds it. Bamba. Can he create something here? The big Ivorian pushes forward. Can he get the pass? He can. Oh, what's been called? A free kick straight against Bamba. Throwing his weight around and he gets a yellow card in his debut. Musa Bamba. Destroyed. It's Mancini. Oh, what was the touch? Doesn't matter though, a 3-1 victory, three points, an electrifying first half there from Milan. And we sort of sat back and held on. Well, we only had the six shots for the game, three on target, they all went in. And uh, Mancini, uh, not a bad game, Lazzari showed a little bit. Giordano with a 9.1, Kelchan with a 9.3, gets a man of the match performance. Alright, the final scout report is back from Egypt. And we'll be heading to a new country. There was a lot of half-decent players on here, but uh, we only need to sign quality. And the player we'll be signing is Fatty Abdabakar. 52 to 68, 80 to 94. Looks like a right back, but uh, 230 grand evaluation. We'll see how he develops in our youth academy. All right, we are in Mexico, and uh, there's a lot of players here worth having a look at. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think there is any that we are actually going to sign because they are in all positions that aren't really required for us. We need some big centre-backs. And anyone that was 94 had pretty much low overalls, unfortunately. Um, and we need probably decent players. So that'll end our time in Mexico. And we are in France, and there is nothing here for us to sign on this final scout report. So now we can head off and uh, look for some new countries. All right, so with an hour left on transfer deadline day, I've managed to pick up one player. It's Jan Diakabi, a 71 overall center back at 19 years of age. Um, yeah, I went in for a couple of other players. I went in for the uh, the Carrick regen. He's playing for Chelsea at the moment. He wanted 60 grand a week and wasn't willing to relocate for that. So uh, unfortunately, we've missed out on him. We'll have a look at him uh, in the next transfer window. But uh, we needed a center back to come in and help out. Cunningham and Diaz, and I think this lad should be able to do the job. He's only five foot eleven, but he's got some good stats about him. So welcome to the club, Jan Diakabi. All right, so the transfer window is shut. Let's have a quick look at our youth squad and see if there's anyone else that's worth bringing in to help this team out. Uh, Shinada, eighty to ninety-four. Uh, Simon Aflan is seventy-three to eighty-nine. Hassan El Masari, sixty-three overall, seventy-eight to ninety-four potential, six foot three. Uh, we're going to offer the Egyptian a contract. Uh, so we have four centre-backs at the club. We also have Thomas Moore, 63 overall, 86 to 92 potential. Um, Abdu Bakar, we've just signed into our youth academy, 56 overall, 80 to 94 potential. Jorgis Alexis, 59 overall, uh, 79 to 87. Fatty, uh, uh, <laughs> 
Fatty Abubakar, 56 overall, 83 to 94, physically strong right back. Walter Wimmer is a 55 overall, 80 to 90. Uh, Placido Ponche is a 56 overall, 79 to 94. Joachim Dressler is a 59 overall, 80 to 86. Uh, Simon Albert, 55 overall, 86 to 94. Uh, Riley Walker, 54 overall, 81 to 87. Isaac Hughes, 61 overall, 86 to 92. And uh, that's our full youth squad as it stands. All right, let's go to the random generator list and uh, see what we can pull out of the hat. We're definitely looking for some physically strong players to help out our defensive line and probably a goalkeeper. So uh, here we go. And it is number 65. All right, this one comes from Dwayne V. And he says, Argentina for any position you need. So that's really handy. I'm going to go and look for an Argentinian goalkeeper. And uh, hopefully we can get someone to help out, Conti. All right, here we go again. And it is number 174. 174, where are you? All right, here we go. Please scout a player from Poland for an attacker. All right, Poland. Let's go. All right, and the next one is number 81. And this one is from P. Mavir, and he wants Italy for physically strong. I'm sure we can do that. Let's get some more Italians in this team. All right, so here is Diacabi, uh, 72 overall center back. He's got great jumping at 91, 83 sprint speed, 84 strength, uh, good acceleration, agility, balance, and the likes. Some good heading accuracy, decent slide tackle, so a little bit of defensive training. And this lad could turn into an absolute beast. 5 foot 11 from France, uh, high defensive work rate, three star, three star. Couldn't ask for much more for, uh, what did we pay for him? Three million, three and a half, not bad. So he will partner up with Diaz now and uh, we'll put Cunningham on the bench, I think. All right, here we go back at the San Siro in the Calcio B. We're into February now and we are back on the home stretch in this season. We need to propel ourselves up the table. We need to finish strong. We need to score goals and we need to get promoted because uh, I want to be playing Calcio A next season. We sit in second position with a game in hand on Frosinone. So a win here could actually see us go top of the table. How about that? So uh, hopefully the goals can come again. Lazzari will start up front. Dikabi will start his first game for Milan, partnering up with Diaz in the centre-back position. I, I was a little bit worried about his height at 5 foot 11, but his jumping stat is there. So uh, I've got a feeling he could do some big things for the club. And uh, hopefully his speed helps him out there as well. There he is, the lad. In his first gig for AC Milan. Looks fairly determined. Being in a big stadium now. And he's got the number 20 strip on at the moment, but we'll address that with a kit upgrade later on. And so here is our starting lineup. And probably our strongest team out there, except for Fraser is in for Zhao as he has a red card to his name for too many yellows. So let's get out here and see if we can absolutely destroy Vichil. To Clausen, it's a poor touch. Slips it off to Banks. And Banks goes for the delivery for Lazzari, who can't keep the fucking thing down. Oh, good work from Mr. Rolly. Clausen slips it forward. Lazzari finish, son. Get in. 1 0 Milan. Lazzari trying to find some form now. And a great ball there. That was delicious. Clausen just seen Lazzari move to the space. And a lovely little finesse finish there. Makes it 1-0 at the San Siro. Keeper didn't move. Caught on two feet. 1-0 Milan. And whip it in close. Fraser got up. Good work from Taylor just to hold it up. Here's Banks. Slips it off to the run of Taylor. Needs some help here from Clausen. And he pumps it out in front of him. Clausen now. Pushes on through, chips it off. Lazzari, can he finish? No, straight at Bananazak. It's Banana Man. Banks. Lazzari again. Oh, wrecked from behind. He's down. Fucking send him off. And what is it? Just a telling off? Is he going to get a card for it? He's getting ushered over here by the ref. Come on, mate. Don't hide behind your fucking... Brothers and sisters, he gets a yellow card. Marcus De Nielsen, the captain, is a dickhead. Why the fuck is Diaz taking this free kick? I do not think so. All right, Lazzari, come on. Time for you to put something in. Oh, just too much mustard. We just cannot keep it down in Milan. Don't have the free kick takers that we had at Cheltenham, that's for sure. He's tried hard there. He's got the dip. 
Just a little bit too much mustard on it. Oh, Conti, brilliant save. Brilliant from Conti. Dicabi looked a little bit out of sorts. He's just topped it down to protect it. And Conti, a good wrister, a good disco wristy from Conti. And it's a corner now for Celli closing in on half time. And Fraser just pumps that one away. There's half time. 1 0 to Milan. That's the run here. Misseroli. Has he got a cross in him? Back post. Looks for Richard. Oh, yes. Get in, son. There's Richard. And that's his first goal for the club, I reckon. Well, what a ball from Misseroli. We're getting these crosses right today. Richard on the back post just whips it in off a polished forehead. And it's 2 0 Milan. Get in, son. Oh, Conti! Brilliant save. And Dicabi just gets the ball fucking out. What a save from Conti. Oh, they got a free kick here in a pretty decent area. Freeze Brothers have just checked in. Along with Pierre Rocher! Oh, Dicabi. Does well. Slips it off. Rocher. Hatsari. Cuts back. Rocher with the fresh legs. Can he cut through the middle? He can. Oh, he's passed it out wide. I was looking for Freeze. Oh, great work from Freeze. Back inside. Pierre Rocher. Pierre Rocher. Oh, just dropped. Fucking welcome to the box, son. Oh, dear Carby. Great challenge. And then slips it off to Fraser. He runs into a brick wall but plays on. Here's Freeze. This is Christopher. Works his way around the outside. Look at the pace from the young lad. Here he goes. Christopher. Oh, fucking send him off. Oh, how was that advantage? You wouldn't even let me get near the ball, you fucking idiot game. Oliver Freese. Oh. <laughs> young Oliver. Oh, that's a great touch on. And it's Pierre Rocher. Slips it inside. Lazzari plays it off. Freeze. Get. Oh, what a save from Banana Man. I thought that was a certain goal. Slipped it off. Sweatier than a gypsy with a mortgage. And he's just thrown the right boot out. What a save. It's a corner now for Milan. Lazzari whips this one in. It's going to come back out. Another corner. And there is the whistle. A 2 0 victory for Milan. Get in there. Well, 11 shots to 8. The boys are heating up. It's what I like to see. Yakabi had a cracking game at centre-back. Latsari actually found some form. Klaus and his man of the match, 8.7. All right, just the two games again with um, all the transfer stuff, but we'll do a full squad report here. Um, Conti is a 75, gone up 6, the only goalkeeper at the club at the moment. Christian Kelkan is a 72, gone up 1. Fabio Lombardi is a 70 now, gone up two. Just needs to get that pace going. Uh, Alberto Diaz, 72, gone up two. Jan DiCarbi is a 72, gone up one. Pierce Cunningham, 71, gone up 10. Thomas Richard, a 67, gone up two. Emmanuel Dior, 63, gone up three. Manolo Sandoval is a 69, gone up three. Sue Xiao, 64, gone up two. Ardavoyanov, a 61, gone up one. Reese Fraser, 63, gone up four. Reese Banks is a 71, gone up three. Oliver Freese is 68, gone up four. Ahmed Kaplan is a 68, gone up one. Uh, Umberto Misseroli is a 70, gone up three. Pierre Rocher is a 66, gone up three. Dave Watson, 63. Lucas Cooper, 63, gone up one. Branko Alanovic is a 61, gone up three, out on loan. Donald Taylor, a 69, gone up four. Alberto Giordano, 67, gone up two. Rashid Elbasir, 64, gone up four, out on loan. Mikel Clausen, 72, gone up two. Robert Laganov, 67, gone up three. Still two months away from action. Uh, Lazari is a 79, gone up two. Musa Bamba is a 57. Lev Mozarov is a 59, gone up two. Christopher Free, 69, gone up four. Minjay Suk, a 68, gone up three. Ferhat Bulgazi, a 66, gone up three, out on loan. Francesco Mancini, 69, gone up four. He is only going up by what we are training. Those stats are everything that we are training on him at the moment. And that is the only reason he is going anywhere. Um, didn't get any bites on the loan list. He's 20 now. It's going to be really hard to loan glitch him. So um, 
We'll just push him on. Hopefully we can get him to like a 75. And uh, he can be the backup striker here for AC Milan because he's just a cult hero. And uh, that is our full squad in February. Right, today's player upgrade will be the new centre back in Jan Diakabi. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to make any changes to his number or his kit. And we'll get that happening in a future episode. Right, so with that win, we go to the top of the table, February. Uh, there's still a lot of games to play here, but uh, things are looking on the on the up here for Milan. 14 wins, 6 draws, only the 4 losses. And that goal difference is really starting to push on. So, uh, hope you're ready for a big second half of the season and we push on and try for promotion. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere and you have a good one.